Hello, in this video I will show you how you can create a powerful, feature-rich appointment booking form using the Builderall booking app. Builderall is an all-in-one digital marketing platform. You can create websites, you can use it for email marketing, and it also happens to have a really nice booking app that you can use to create booking forms for your business. It doesn't matter which niche you are in, you will be able to create a form that will suit your business. Why do you need this? It's a convenient, fast and secure way for your clients to book appointments with you. You no longer have to worry about finding a pen and paper to write down the appointment details. And additionally, online appointment booking can help streamline the appointment process, reducing wait times and allowing for more efficient use of your resources. So who can benefit from this? Appointment booking is becoming increasingly important for businesses that want to offer convenient services to their customers. This is especially true for services that require pre-scheduled visits such as medical practices, hair and beauty salons or spa services, and so on. Online appointment booking also makes it easier for customers to adjust their schedules if needed and be reminded of upcoming appointments. For businesses that depend on appointments for their services, online appointment booking can be an invaluable tool. But let's dive in and see how we can create a booking form with Builderall. You'll see that it's very easy. To create a booking form, you need to first subscribe to one of Builderall's uh, plans. It doesn't really matter which one you choose because even the cheapest one includes the booking and calendar app. So if you choose the cheapest one, you should be fine. Once you purchase the plan, log into your Builderall dashboard. So I'm here in my Builderall dashboard and to create a booking form, we need to go to tools, and here we need to select the Booking Builder. And here we are on our dashboard. We can create as many booking forms as we want. And the cool thing about Builderall Booking Builder is that we can use these booking form individually, or we can use them and embed them into our website. So here you can see that I already have one calendar or one booking form created. And if I go to the calendars menu, we can see it here. And here I can access the link of the form. Or if I go here, I can click view and I can access my booking form directly. So if you don't want to build a website or if you don't uh, want to include this booking form in your website, you can just share this direct link with your customers and they will be able to uh, access it and they will be able to book an appointment with you. But let's go back and let's go back to the dashboard and uh, let's take a quick look around here. So here you can create a new calendar or, or a booking form. Here you can see some statistics about your calendars and your subscribers. You can also connect your booking form with payment processors. So you can actually charge your customers for, for the appointment if you want. And if you do that, you will be able to see the statistics here. You can see cancellations. You can see event statistics here. We already checked the calendars menu. This is where all your calendars or booking forms are listed. Under the schedule menu, you, can, you will be able to see all your booked appointments and schedules. Hosts are basically the person or persons who will manage the appointments. So for example, a, a, a dentist or, or, a, or, a, or a barber, we will be able to create hosts when we create our calendars. And finally, under the integration menu, we can create integrations. So for example, we can connect our Google Calendar with our booking form, or we can connect it with Zoom. We are not going to do this in this video. So let's go back to 
dashboard and let's create our first calendar. So to create the calendar, we need to click the new calendar button. We need to add a name to the calendar. I'm just going to name this Barber Shop and click create new calendar. And now it's being created. Okay, so here is the title. We can change this if we want. We can add the description. We can upload our logo here. I have a dummy logo. We can add a matching color if we want. We can set the time zone. So here we have two options for the time zone section. We can uh, set a predefined time zone or we can let the users select their time zone. Because this is a barber shop, we don't really need to let the users to select their time zone. This may be a good idea if you, if you, for example, do this for uh, uh, some kind of webinar where people from all over the world can, can join you. But people who would be interested in this particular business are probably, it's safe to say that they are in the same time zone. So we just need to select this one and let's select uh, Easter time. It doesn't really matter. Then we have the language options. It's basically similar. We have two options. In this case, English is okay for us. Then click save and go to the next step. So in this step, we have the scheduling related options here. And um, here on the top, you can see that we can create groups. By default, we have one group created. But what are groups exactly? So in this case, we could create a group for adults, for barbers who deal with adults and barbers who deal with children, for example. Or if it was a, a full hair salon, maybe hairdressers for for men and hairdressers for, for women. Or if you are creating this for a, a, a medical clinic, may, maybe a, a group could be for, for dentists, uh, another group could be created for dermatologists, another group could be created for cardiologists, and so on. And under this group, we can add as many doctors or hairdressers or barbers as we want. Okay, so here for the title, I just, I just call this uh, barbers. Again, we could add a description, but I'm not going to add a description here. And here we can add hosts. So hosts in our example are barbers, the actual people who will trim your beard or cut your hair, or if it's a, a, a medical practice, then the doctors themselves. So here from the drop down menu, you can add an, an existing host, or you can create a new one. So I will just create a new one. We can also add a phone number. And we just need to click save to save this person. And now this host is added to this group. You can add as many hosts as you want. Okay, so let's uh, move on. Here we have some timing uh, options. So if you hover your mouse over these eye icons, you can see more information about each settings. And it says the starting point you can define the time intervals that can be scheduled. The lower the starting point, the greater the flexibility and possibilities in choosing a schedule. Let's um, leave it on every 15 minutes and the session duration. And actually, this is pretty relevant for us. So for example, if you are a hairdresser, this is where you configure how long it takes to get a haircut. So let's... Uh, Let's leave it on 30 minutes. Interval between sessions. Set an interval of free time between your appointments. You can use this interval to rest, to plan, 
for the next appointment to travel or for the routine snack. So for example, barbers, hairdressers, they need to do a little cleaning between uh, clients. So maybe let's set this to 10 minutes. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's move on to the business hours. Uh, obviously, if you don't work on one of these days, you just need to uncheck these buttons here and maybe change the Saturday to, I don't know, 12. So we work almost every day except Sunday. So here we can set the available dates or date ranges. And if we hover our mouse over, here we can specify which months and the date range this group is available for. If you want to block specific dates like a holiday or your birthday, we have this feature below. So I will just leave it like this, but maybe, maybe, maybe we could remove the last day of the year. No one wants to work on that day. And if we move on, we have the sessions option. I will leave this option on one because for, for a hairdresser, you don't really need multiple sessions, but maybe for a medical practice, you may, you may need more session or, or if you provide a particular service that requires multiple follow-ups, then you can set this number here. Then we have the availability option. Set this threshold so your customers can see your availability in the future. Be careful when combining this setting with high minimum antecedents periods. So here we can select indefinitely until a certain days or rolling days. To be honest, most of the time you don't really need this option. So you can just leave it on indefinitely. Again, the next one is uh, related to the previous options. We can leave it on without minimum antecedents. And here we can block specific dates. So for example, here you could add your birthday and uh, people won't be able to book an appointment on that day. You can add as many uh, block, blocked dates as you want. So here we have some advanced configurations. We can set if the new appointments uh, needs approval or not. Uh, we can allow our customers to cancel their schedules or not. Here we can also allow them to reschedule their appointment. And here we have some options how to display unavailable times. We can show it as busy or we can just simply hide it. Okay, so these... Um, Options are not really relevant for us because we only have one host in this uh, calendar. But if you have more than one host, so for example, if you have two dentists and, and they both provide similar services, then at the sa same time, two people should be able to schedule appointment for the same service. And if we hover our mouse over, we have a relevant explanation. So for example, if this is a group for beard cutting and in your barber shop, there are three professionals who perform this service, fill in the field below with this value and thus it will be possible to receive three appointments on the same time, one for each barber. So basically this is what it does. And this is this one, it does it by time and this one you can schedule this limit by email and you can also and here you can also change the order of this group but we don't do that we don't need to do that here so I will just click save and next okay so here we can define what information we need from our customers when they make an appointment so by default we ask their name and their email address and the phone number. If you want, you can add more fields here. You can add the title and you can select the field type here. And if you're done, just click save. I'm not going to add any new fields here. These are enough for me. And here in the next section, you can decide what 
action to take after someone booked an appointment. Here you can display a success message or if you choose this option, then you can redirect them to a specific URL, a specific page. This is uh, really good if you are doing some uh, advertising because then you can easily track your conversions. For this example, I will just leave it on the success message, but most of the time you really should select this option. This is, but this is much, much better. So click save and next. So here you can, uh, you can manage your confirmation notification. So what happens after someone booked an appointment, you can decide not to send confirmation to subscribers or you can send confirmation to subscribers. And you can also send email notification to the barbers or, or, or doctors, the hosts basically that you edit to your group. And you can do the same for cancellation. You can set reminders. Uh, you can set that not to remind your customers or you can select to send reminders. And here you can create a new reminder. You can create reminders to subscribers and to hosts as well. And lastly, you can select how the emails are sent. You can use the default build role uh, email sender or, or you can use a specific email sender. Uh, you can uh, you can use, for example, Builderall's uh, email marketing service uh, to handle this option. But right now I'm going to use, I'm going to select the first option. Then let's click save and go to the next one. Okay, I made a mistake here. Oh yeah, I, I did not set, set a reminder, but I don't want to do that right now. So I'm just going to use this first option here. Let's go to the next step. Here we can sync the booking form with our Google Calendar if we want. I don't want to do that. You can do the same with Zoom. Here, if you want, you can add subscribers to an email list so that later you can send uh, newsletters to them. Uh, I will not do that here. Builderall also have a really powerful email marketing app that is available to you. So this is, uh, this won't cost you any extra if you, if you select this option here, you can add social proof. We are not going to do that, but maybe it's a good idea. If you select to, to show so social proof, then you need to select your campaign here. Okay. So you, you can, you can also do this from your build a role dashboard. This is the social proof pop-up app. So if you create social proof here, then you will be able to select that campaign from here. Okay. Let's save it and go to the next step here. You can enable payments so you can charge for the appointments. If you want, uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but if you want to do that here, you can select this option and then you can select your billing model and then uh, you need to obviously save it. I'm just not going to enable this. Let's click save and our calendar is being generated and now it's ready to go. So this is your link to your calendar. So you should uh, save this link. And basically you just need to send this link to all your customers, or if you are running some kind of uh, online advertising, for example, Facebook advertising campaign, then you can just use this link in your ads to, to point your traffic. And when people click your advertising on, on Facebook, then they will be redirected to this booking form and they will be able to book an appointment with you. So you can also click here to see your booking form. So we have our logo here, we have the title and here people are able to select an appointment. So here we just need to add our name, our email address, and we can schedule this uh, 
appointment here. So this is a really, really nice uh, design. Uh, it looks really professional. It's very easy to edit it. And it basically has all the functionalities that you need in, a, in an appointment booking form. And as I mentioned, you can create as many form as you want. You can add more people, you can add more groups here. So, so even if you have a, a, a huge business, you will be able to uh, make this work. And, uh, and I hope you will, you will like this. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below the video. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, have a nice day.